Set in the system so it's doing heating only for testing purposes. So go the far end there, click on there, and we're going to take these off schedule and we're going to put them to prohibit for the hot water and we're going to leave the heating running and then come out and you'll see that it's now changed up there and I've got a prohibit sign there and that's now set for heating. I want to make the system work harder than this so it's looking at a room temperature moment time but I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So click on the menu button and scroll where it says heating, give it a tick and I'm going to change that to fixed flow. Get a tick, come back out. I can now set that temperature as high as I want to. So let's set it nice and fairly high at say 55 degrees. So I wanted to go into that and see how effective the heating is being as far as looking at temperatures going. We can go into menu button, scroll across to that service menu, give it a tick, and ask for your password. The default is four zeros. Give that a tick. And then on the FTC6, there's two ways of checking, but I'm going to show you the way that you can do on the FTC6 and on the FTC5. So I'm going to scroll down to one that says thermistor readings. Give that a tick. So there's my flow and return temperatures. No idea what room temperature it is. I've it's in quite a cold training room. Um, you should be seeing around about five degrees difference between my flow and return. Now I've got a little bit less now, but I've got quite a small heating circuit due to being in a training room situation. So just to give you a little bit of an insight. So that's one way of doing it. But also, what I could do is come out here and we can go up to, and on there, you can see it's got set for heating, and we can see how those temperatures are coming through, and it's also showing me what my flow rate's like as well, so that's quite helpful. So there's my flow return temperatures, and there's my flow rate, which is also very important. If I was on the old version, say the FTC5, I could go into 540, and on the running information and find out the flow that way which we've done earlier on the training. If you're on an older version than that um, you could look back at the thermistor readings and just look at that flow and return temperature. 